When it comes to reactions coming in from different political parties, Rahul Gandhi has also offered his condolences to the family of the deceased, but has apparently not condemned the incident. Even the DMK top brass have offered their condolences and said all of the accused in the case have been arrested by the police. This has given the BJP fresh ammo and also the AIA DMK to corner the India bloc that claimed that Congress was not vocal enough about the incident as it was dependent on ally DMK for its relevance. The BJP has also cornered the DMK government over what they call as deteriorating law and order situation in the state. Jan Naik Rahul Gandhi kidar hai? Tamil Nadu mein jis prakar se BSP ke adhyaksh Armstrong ki hatya kar di gai hai wo bhi shaam ke saad baje kanun vyavastha poon tarike se dhwast hai parantu Dalit Lives Matter bolne wale Rahul Gandhi ji aap kab jayenge Tamil Nadu inke paribar se milne? Kalakuruchi mein paisat Dalit maare gai us par ek tweet, ek shabd nahi bola aapne itni hypocrisy cheek nahi hai जब एनडीए के या बीजेपी के स्टेट में कुछ होता है तब तो आप पहुंच जाते हैं Dharni, the political uh, reactions that have been coming in, DMK and the chief minister, however, saying that within hours of the incident, multiple arrests that has been made, BSP, however, saying the arrests, those have been made, are not connected with the murder of Mr. K. Armstrong. <laughs> Until yesterday, eight people were arrested by the police in connection with this incident. And as I told, uh, yesterday evening, uh, three more people were detained by the Chennai police. Totally, eleven people have been interrogated in connection with this murder by the Chennai police. But the supporters of the Bahujan Samaj Party, they are claiming that these are not the original offenders. These are not the actual offenders. Uh, the people who have got arrested. Darni, so please to stay on with us. Uh, Shahzad Punawal of the BJP is with us. Shahzad, as far as uh, reactions coming in from the BJP side on to this gruesome murder that has been reported in Chennai. Shazad, can you hear me? Yes, uh, Amita, one thing is very clear hmm. that today when Dalits are not safe in Tamil Nadu, whether it's Kalakuruchi where 65 people have been killed or whether it's Armstrong's brutal death, the question is that those who do Dalit lives matter, will they go and visit the family of Armstrong? Will they go and visit the family of Kalla Kuruchi? Rahul Gandhi's tweet will not do. The fact of the matter is that Tamil Nadu police and Tamil Nadu government have a lot to answer. So why is it that they are not allowing for a CBI probe? Rahul Gandhi should insist upon Mr. Stalin that not only should he sack the minister for excise and not only as home minister he should take responsibility, but he should also allow for a CBI probe. In both these matters, Dalit lives have been lost. But Rahul Gandhi has taken no stand and that shows that when it comes to his own state, that time he takes a different stand and when it comes to BJP rule states, he has a very different approach. All right, but Shahzad, as far as reactions that are coming on part of the DMK and Mr. MK Stalin saying that arrests were made within hours of this incident that has been reported. I mean, what is Mr. Stalin patting his back over? The fact is that in Chennai, law and order is so bad that at 7 p.m. in the evening, a person gets hacked. And he's no ordinary person. He's the BSP chief of Tamil Nadu. So imagine what the situation of law and order is in Tamil Nadu. Crimes are continuously rising under Stalin's watch. That is because their priority is not to ensure safety of people. Their priority is only corruption. And therefore, today it is not sufficient for these cosmetic actions, cosmetic condemnations, cosmetic casual, uh, you know, tweets. What needs to be done is a CBI probe. And Rahul Gandhi should insist upon Stalin that there should be a CBI probe and he should even condemn it. His tweet has no line of condemnation, by the way. His uh, tweet only has a condolence but no condemnation. And therefore, that too shows that Rahul Gandhi is quite hypocritical. He's the leader of hypocrisy, okay. not leader of opposition. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.